Hello guys, welcome to our new FM21 save, which is Go For Glory. And we are going to start off at Barnet. I'll tell you more about that and why later on in the episode. But first of all, I'll tell you about this series. So this series is going to basically be us trying to build up teams for a couple of years maybe longer depending on what we need to do they could be in a relegation scrap they could be um, fighting in mid table but we're not going to try and take over a team who are like first in the league only if we're like trying to win the champions league of course um, and the goal of the series is basically to make it to the top of world football with any team I don't even know what team it's going to be at the end um, so that's the goal and we start it now so um we have put pen to paper on a one-year deal worth nine hundred thousand pounds per week uh, not thousand pounds nine hundred pounds per week um we're at the hive um 6.5 k capacity stadium built in 2009 i think that tottenham's um i think girls team play there i'm not sure though um, we were found in 19, uh, 1888, 12th um, in the league they predict, do the media, um, we've got a one and a half star reputation, great training facilities, average youth and adequate recruitment, um, finished 7th last season, uh, enter at the 4th qualifying round of the FA Cup and FA Trophy first round. Um, play our home games at the Hive and we've got a fierce rivalry with Stevenage so this is some of the team by the way I am trying to get a face pack but it's going to take a while because I need to download it and then need to make sure it works but I'm getting a face pack at the moment so hopefully all these players will have faces so that is basically what they think about that the team's going to be James Dunn being the captain. Um, five year plan wise, they want us to finish top half the season, first round of the FA Cup and fourth round of the FA Trophy. Um, that one doesn't really matter, the other two we need to do. Work within the wage budget, which is really important. Develop players using the club's youth system and by 2024-25 we need to be in League 2, so let's get straight into this then. <laughs> right, so here we are then. Um, same bit of thing there. Planet players in the last contract. We'll just apply a recommendation to all of those. Um, we'll accept the club vision. We'll do something to do with the tactics in a minute. Don't really care about Kai Howlett's going to Chelsea. Um, so. Let's have a look straight away at the squad. It's quite small. It There's 18 players here. Right. That, that's fine. Um, what about in the youth squads? 
we've got well players that are actually going to be able to play one two three three in the under 23s no players in the under 18s so let's just put the under 23 squad in here so that makes it a 26 man squad because that of course is just those players which are nine people yeah so 26 man squad um the best player here is michael piestro who's on loan from this team in canada which is very epic um he's four and a half star uh, yeah four and a half star current ability five star potential ability he's supposed to be considered a um <laughs> league two quality player and you can see that because he was there and thereabouts in league one played nine times for canada wow he's he's quite good um after that we've got anthony wordsworth he's been here for not too long i like it actually that showed his career stats there you go so he's been here this season this guy's been here for a long time he's a winger center mid you can see here so we've, we've got a decent amount of good players scott loach is supposed to be the highest paid player mm, that's all right so that's interesting i like it i do quite like it so we've got quite a few goalkeepers three goalkeepers we've got a decent amount of center backs let's try and make a kind of team i want to go for a fluid counter attack because I like that system, so it would be loaching goal. Back four of McQueen, who I haven't heard of. I thought it was the one from Southampton. Can have mm, McQueen's more of a left-sided player as well. Binham Williams, but he wants to play more left wing back, so we need a left back already. Ben Nugent, who is a central well, centre back um, and Matt Pearson or Preston who looks quite good defensive mid we've got Wesley Fonguk he is very good actually yeah he looks like a player that I really quite like already we don't have anyone who can play roaming playmaker we do have James Dunn We'll put Wordsworth in there and see what he wants to do. So he wants to be, well, he could be anything in midfield. So I'm thinking more of a advanced playmaker or a Mazzala. Mazzala. We'll go with a Mazzala. Piestro and JJ Hooper on the wings and Mason Clark up top. Who wants to be a winger as well and mason clark's a youngster isn't he yeah maybe we go with Pe pestastro on the wing so we're gonna have to put this guy further forward definitely this guy has to push further forward that actually looks like a really good team i don't know if it's gonna be good but it could be really decent I mean, he really wants to be that, but what else can this guy play? He kind of, yeah, no one's really giving a major influence into that hole in midfield. Oh, he wants to be an inverted winger. Well, that, that's not happening. Um, and they're both on support, but that's fine. I don't mind that. That looks like a good team. 
I think we'll have to go for more of a balanced mentality. But that looks like a really good team. Maybe you could do with a a striker um, and a centre back as well as a left back. But that, that's doable, I think. One problem we have got is probably yeah, we don't have much money in the wage budget. Nor we no, we have no money. We literally have no money. Um, transfers wise, we have not spent a penny this season. We've signed a winger on loan who's not actually that good. So that's great. The rest of them all look decent, except from this guy. Because, yeah, he, he's not very good at either. Um, got the right back. The rest of the team's good. The rest, well, the rest of the signings, I should say, are good. Who have we let go? We let go a 17-year-old. Can we get this guy back on loan? Is he good? He played one game last season. We'll scour. Um, this guy, we just let go a load of players, didn't we? I've heard of this guy. Yeah, he came through at Tottenham. And he had a good season, actually. Uh, Dan Sweeney, I've heard of as well. I've heard of Dan Sparks as well. I'm pretty sure. I've heard of quite a lot of these players. I'm not a fan of this team. Like, when I say that, I don't mean, like, oh, I hate them. I mean, I've, I've not, like, researched before. Got a young right back, but he doesn't really have that much potential. A young left back, Lolly Hernandez, will look at him for the future, but I don't see any real problems so far. We'll have a look at the staff. Right, that's the only problem so far. We don't actually have a scout. Right, can we have, um, can someone look for a, a few scouts and a director of football, please? Thank you very much for that. Um, and we also need a coach, 100%. So, let's just get a normal coach. But, to be fair, that's a good squad. Now, goalkeeper, we're looking alright. Left back, we need another one. Centre back, we definitely need another centre back or two. Right back, we're good. Then CDM, we're really good. Central midfield, we've got a lot of options, but I think I could do with one more. Um, left wing, we're fine. Right wing, we're fine. Striker, uh, this guy's not really what I'm looking for, so. We'll see if we can get rid of him. Same with this guy, because he's, well, can he, well, can this guy actually, no, he can't, so he can leave as well. We only need a couple of strikers. We need, like, three strikers at most. And then we've got this guy. After him, we've got a player who's never going to play, so. Did he, when did he sign, why did they sign him? <laughs> why did he sign what, what, who signed him, and why? So, yeah, a good, strong squad, really. This Mohammed Fowl, can I, can I let him? Oh, oh, I might cancel this guy's loan. I might keep him just because he's all right back up. But he's not great, is he? Um, who's this been? Okay, we've got two centre backs. So, if you guys, what? He's, who are you? Who are you? Oh, um, join you contract, mate. Yeah, that's fine. Um, yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, <laughs> I'm doing this on camera. I probably shouldn't really, but yeah, no, you, you're not having any of those things. Just 
get in the club. Right. So, I do want to thank you guys for watching this first video. If you guys have enjoyed, please do leave it a like and subscribe down below. As we've only got three subscribers, so let's try and get to 10 subscribers before the end of 2020. And hopefully it will be weekly content um, coming out. By the way, if you don't see the hamburger career, it's probably because I'm doing this one. So the hamburger career might only go on for season one. Um... And if you do want spoilers, we do get promoted. Um, so yeah, I do want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And I will see you for the first two games of the season in the next episode. Goodbye.